Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome to our look into Dinkum, which is a Australianized style of what you can expect to see for like Stardew Valley, My Time at Porsche, and other similar life sim type games. I personally have been looking forward to this because I want to raise wombats. So, without further ado, let's jump right in here. So, let's go with a nice little darker boy here because we're going to be out in the sun. Hell yeah. Why do my feet look dirty? What do we got for hair? That works good. Looks like my hair. And eyes? I need like angry eyes. Nope, sleepy eyes. Sleepy eye works. Brown. Big old schnoz. I don't like these noses. That'll do. That'll do. And clothes? Purple. Yeah. Confirm. What is my name? Shabby, obviously. <laughs> you, you, you don't know who I am? You you sure you haven't heard of me? What's the name of the island? It'll be Shibland. Create character. Yeah, so I'm wondering how more so if it's going to be more like an Animal Crossing, because like it, people have said to me, it's like Animal Crossing, life, my time at Porsche, Stardew, yada yada. So I'm wondering if it's more Animal Crossing-like or more Stardew and Porsche-like. We were born here. Yeah, it looks miserable. Most people have no desire to leave. This reminds me of how Stardew Valley started off when you see like our guy in a corporate office. And now we're seeing like this like factory style life here. It looks more like a prison because everyone's wearing the same exact thing. Help wanted, looking for a young go-getter to, to accompany me to my old home, Shipland. Voyage and accommodation will be your initial compensation. Anyone interested, please meet me somewhere. I didn't see it. I leave for Shiblin today. Good, I got my prison suit on. Let's go, Granny. Taking a hot air balloon, a little, uh, a little, why can't I think of the name of those things? A little Zeppelin? I like it. I'm here for it. Is that what they sound like? We're now flying over Shibland. We'll be landing shortly. Man, look at the color difference. Prepare to leave the airship. <gasps> a dog? Oh, it dingo ate my baby. Yeah, my accents are awful. Don't mind me. Yep. Yep, yep. Looks like we've landed. All right, glad you decided to accompany. I started to think no one in Cell City was brave enough to join when when you were the first and only person to respond to my ad. I knew you were the right person. I mean, you didn't really have a choice. Oh dear. Can old Fletch waffle on. Let's get cracking, shabby. I'll see you outside. Very well. All right, move around WSAD free cam. Build cam, free cam, build cam. Okay, let's go. Oh no. See you later. Feels like there's motion blur, which is weird. Wow. Wow. Smell that fresh air. I'll tell you what, it feels good to finally be back on Shibland. Now, Shabby, I'm going to need your help getting settled, all right? I'll give you this base tent. Take your time and find a good place. It'll be our, like, it'll be our, like, our town hub. It'll be like our town hub. Take this map as well if you have any questions. Please just ask. I haven't been back to Shibland for a very long time, but I can still be helpful. I'll be waiting for you at this dock until you set up the tent. So if you get lost, just check your map and come back. Good luck. All right, we got a base tent. And I've got an island map. Excellent. So I can move the camera while I'm moving. It's inverted. Ew. And let's see. All right, fix that little setting. So we can move around like this. We've got the map here. Um, it's holy shit. Shit, it's massive. Do I want to get to mainland? Can I get to mainland? Or should I build a base here? I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm assuming it's going to force me to build here and then I got to like build a boat to leave this area perhaps. We'll find out. I'm going to jump in the water. Yep. I can dive? Oh, that's the tits. Now, the only issue I have with things like this is I don't like the, um, like how I have a tile kind of in front of me and that's what I pick up and it's, 
not based off of my camera movement. It's just based off the character. So it's going to take me time to get used to that. But it seems pretty fluid and has more of a radius than it lets on to. Like, you can get behind it a little bit or get close to it. So it's not, um, I'll definitely say it's not the worst thing. It's not what I prefer, though, that's for sure. Because usually when you start using tools, uh, mechanics like this are a little wonky. But, you know, we'll find out. We'll find out. I'm just going to grab all this nonsense. I don't know what it does, but I've got it now. All right, so on the map, I'm here. I think I want to build over here. The map kind of design kind of reminds me of Eco a bit with how, like, hilly everything is, and it's not, like, kind of standard. I think I'm going to go to this spot here. And that'll be our first base of operations. I'm not sure, obviously, how good everything will be, but we'll find out. Can I pick up this wood? Gum log. Gotcha. Dive. That's so cool how we can dive. I always love a game, even when they're in the, especially when they're in this voxel cell, that lets you dive. Animal bones. Don't think I can get that. All right. So here I am. And this is just the sand. I like this. Okay. This is, yeah. I'm going to be on this little peninsula here. It might be a little far out, so maybe I'll go here and get near that green. Can I put a little mark here? Why is that backwards? I don't know. Put that there. Yeah, this is great. I like this. I'm going to put this down right here. Oh, well, let me cancel. All right, so I put this down. I want it to be... This. Yep. Oh, now I have a mouse again. Okay. Duly noted. Oh, hey, Fletch. This is where you decided to build, huh? Yep. It's perfect. Our new home here in Shibland. Thank you so much for setting up the base tent. And guess what? I have a tent for you, too. I know it's not much, but it'll be a place you can call home. Now there's plenty of space to spread out here on Shibland. Please take your time to place your tent. You'll probably be visiting base tent for a fair bit. Keep in that in mind while you're looking for a spot to claim as your own. I'll be inside base tent getting things set up. A place to live when you don't have a house yet. So the question is, should I build near base camp or should I not build near base camp? I'm going to put it down right here. And if I need to ever move it, then I will. Okay, whoops. It couldn't do that. What was rotate E? The tree's in my way. Will it just get taken down? Yeah. It just... I enjoyed that a lot, actually. Thank you for that. Nice little clay patch here. This is mine. Can I move this? No, probably not. That's okay. All right, where's Fletch? You inside? Was that an emu? You found a good place? It's not much, but it's like your new home. I'll tell you what, you've got the spark, kid. You see, most people back in South City are scared of leaving. This is something about this place that pulls the spark out of people. But I'll tell you what, we certainly aren't the first to leave. Have you ever heard of the traveling trader, John? Of course I have. Who hasn't? <laughs> oh, what a bloody legend he is. And trading's in his very blood. John got in contact with me before we left for South City. He's interested in visiting with his shop here. Tell you what, we can't miss an opportunity like this. I reckon we get this visiting site deed ready for him. That way we'll have a place ready for any visitors who come to Shipland. I'll tell you, I'll let you decide where the best place for this visiting site deed is. Just be sure it's close by. You want visitors to feel like they're part of Shibling community while they're here. Who knows, maybe we can convince him to set up a permanent shop. All right, be sure to talk to me once you've placed it. You got it. Let's go place this. Okay. Oh, this is the build camera. I kind of like that. That's nice. All right, so I'm thinking maybe just like over here by the water. They, they said kind of nearby, but... Like, I don't know how close I want them to be or how far I would like them to be. This is still pretty close. This is not a far walk at all. Even though the map looks big, it's still relatively tame. So how about I do this? I like here. We go into the build mode. All right, and yeah, I'm gonna put you here. Yep. 
Oh, I'm in that stupid boat. Okay, cool. Read this. Visitor site, a place where anyone visiting can set up a camp. Oh, that's what that does? Ah, oh, it said a deed, so I didn't think it was going to be like that. Can I take it down and redo it? That's a shame. Whatever. Whatever. Hello, Flet. What is this? Town's not currently, currently accepting donations. Well, very well. Talk to Fletch. So, visitors all set. Wonderful. Uh, we've only come here for a little while, but you've achieved so much. You remind me of my father. He was born right here on Shipley, you know. He was a true blue adventurer through and through. He loved doing new things and keeping track of all his milestones in his journal. I wanted to come here and try to meet those milestones, but I'm getting a bit long in the tooth, if you know what I mean. Take his journal and keep it. It's your adventure now. Very well. So we got the adventure journal. Journal means a lot to me, but I think my dad would be glad someone like you is looking after it, but I have a challenge for you. I want you to try and beat my father's milestone. Some of these milestones are going to take you a long time to complete, but there's no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to the journal. These will be smaller milestones that you should be able to easily be easy to complete in a day. Uh, for every milestone, you'll be surprised with permit points. I'll tell you what, you're going to want a lot of permit points. We can talk more about that tomorrow. For now, check out the journal. Uh, I think you'll find that you've actually completed some milestones inside. Be sure to claim them. Now, are you hungry? I am. I think it's about lunchtime. I've seen fruit growing around the island, and that sounds tasty. You go and find us fruit, and when you get back, I will show you how to craft a campfire. Can you do anything on your own? All right, so now we can do this, so I can grab these. Shell, yeah. Camper. Picking up. Shells are nature's way of littering. Here's a milestone for picking up those bad boys. Okay. So, task. Find something to eat. The Pedia. Cool. Hey, <gasps> are you going to stay here, boy? Don't look away from me. I love you. All right, let's go find fruit. I didn't notice any fruit trees. Like, that looks kind of like a yucca. We got a vulture. Nope, you're a turkey. What is that? And when the music change? You aggressive? Hi. Excellent hitboxes. Pushed you in the water. All right. What are you? Cactus figs? I don't know how to like... Oh, that's my inventory? Oh my god, it's huge. That's what she said. Is that a pearl? No. All right. We're on the move, kid. I'm gonna keep picking up wood. See, like, I can't... I can't see the box, though. Oh, well. Oh, well. So where can we find, like, some fruits? Dog swimming, I love it. The dogs move weirdly, though. So I guess these count as something to eat because um, that box is checked off. I'll grab a few more since I see them. Watch out for the malaria. <laughs> We have health. Yeah, we do have health. We have health and energy, so those probably matter at some point. All right, let's bring these back to Fletch and learn how to cook and craft. Hey, when I came back to, I noticed these trees have some fruits. Bush limes. Grab a few of those while I'm here, because why not? So the little ones... Oh, there's a bunch of those over here. What about this bush? Yellow wattle flowers. I definitely thought those said waffle flowers, and I was excited. I thought I was going to have flowers that tasted like waffles. This is why I don't like these systems with the pickup. Like, you see how I had to, like, dance around to find that thing? And I don't know what why my box disappeared or where it went to, but that's also gone. So I can't, like, even see exactly where I'm aimed at, but that's fine. Start to fletch. You found something. You need to keep the energy up. Here's a recipe for a campfire. Found the stones earlier so you can put these to craft. You have to find some wood yourself. Feel free to use the crafting table. Okay. Thanks. Got some rocks. And we learned how to build that so we can use this thingy. And a rock path, a crude fence, a campfire, a cooking table, and a crafting table. Okay, so let's build this. Craft. I've got plenty of wood because I'm a, uh, I'm a hoarder. Oh, that's everything. Okay. Very impressed with the work you've done here. I think there's a great future for us here at Chiblin. Here's a gift. It's a bug net. I think you should take the rest of the day off. Maybe you could go catch some of the bugs around here. Or maybe you could cook yourself some fruit. 
Guess I could do something. Don't forget, take the sleeping bag too. When you get tired, plop that on the ground and have a lay down. I'll tell you what, good night's rest will do us both good. Thanks for the help, Shabby. Can't believe we're here. I know you couldn't have done it without me. You've literally just sat in the tent and did nothing and just told me what to do. Any donkey probably could have figured this out, right? All right, let's put that here. All right, what's this? Open. Oh, so this is a traveling bag. So that's some temporary storage. I can buy a sleeping bag from there. All right, let's build this. And I'm going to put it um, right here. Okay, I can pick these. Oh, son of a bitch. Woo! All right, we can catch on fire. Great news, guys. Just in case you were wondering. Oh, good. It goes out on its own. Oh, my God. The emus are pissed. <laughs> See you later. Freaking emus. I don't have anything to do with you. Get out of here. Move on with your day. Keep your bad self over there. Jesus. I saw an emu nest, though. We're going to go steal some eggs eventually. All right. Don't walk onto the fire. Can I to say I didn't expect this? Oop, didn't mean to do that. Put that down. So how do I use it? Like this? Insert. Okay. Primitive. And pick it up. There it is. Very well. What about one of these things? I hate the movement already. I can't stand when the mouse is just useless. I wonder how it feels with a controller. It right, honestly feels a bit better with a controller, so I'm going to use the controller here. See how this goes. I usually don't like these styles of game with a controller, but... I mean, if that's what feels best, then I will do it. I just got to figure out the buttons here. There's the jump button, okay. All right, so let's see if we can go find some bugs to harvest. That's my inventory, that's my book. So place a sleeping bag and get some rest. I wanna find a bug first. Here's a bug. Question is, do they run away? Not really. Okay, I missed, that's fine. All right, gotcha. I caught a blue moon butterfly. Yeah, that already feels better. All right. This game was absolutely made with a controller in mind because the mechanics like look I can like actually aim myself much more easily even though the camera is still like useless in that sense but now it's functioning as it should all right we've got that taken care of why don't we just head back to the house and go sleep so we can progress to the next phase whatever that may be catch the bird in my bug net yeah Nope, that's not my house. That's my house. All right, so why don't I... Whoops, let me put this in. It's going to take me a while to get used to the buttons here. My sleeping bag over here. Uh, place. Lay down. Call it a day. <laughs> Just rest in my eyes. Does that mean you're going to sleep till tomorrow anyways? All right, oh, so we got skills. So foraging leveled up. We got bug catching. We've earned no... <laughs> No dinks have been heard, earned. We are a zero dink kind of guy right now. Because if you're loving dinkum and you want to make sure we keep doing some more dinkum episodes here, make sure you're smashing that like down below. Otherwise, we're going to have zero dinks, okay? For every dink we get, we got to get a like. <laughs> and also, while you're down there, don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think of it so far. And hit that subscribe button so you do get back here for that sweet, shabby content. All right, let's get a little R&R &R done. What up, Fletch? Yo, what Good morning. Did you happen to see that John has set up his tent? I told him about you and he helped us start out here. He sounded impressed. He trades all sorts of things. I reckon nearly anything you can find on the island will be valuable to him. He'll buy fruit, fish, bugs, even rocks. John also sells lots of useful tools. He's got mining equipment, logging tools, and even some fishing. Although, probably can't sell you a lot of those tools until you have all your licenses in order. No. But I, we're on a des deserted island. You're telling me we need a license? Licenses are old South City idea. I'll tell you what, you didn't need a license for anything back when I was growing up. These days, you need a license for everything. Luckily, I'm actually an accredited license giver. Oh, great. 
If you want to apply for Alliance, come talk to me. You'll have to spend some permit points to get them, but I'll keep... If you keep doing milestones, you'll get enough in no time. As you get better doing certain tasks, new license levels will open up. Now, let me see if there's a license you can apply for right now. So, it allows the holder to buy pickaxes and break rocks. Um, I'm going to do that first because we can find logs on the ground. Ooh, but fishing. All right, let's do, let's do this first. We'll get fishing next for sure. We'll get fishing next. Allows the holder to purchase and use shovels, hunting license, craft basic weapons. That could actually be good. Farming equipment and purchase and pilot water vehicles. Interesting. All right. So talk to Fletch. I almost forgot. He's selling a table saw. That's a tool that will be very handy indeed. I think we should try and make enough money to buy a table saw from John. Here is my half of the dinks. The rest is up to you. At least you gave me some money. Twenty-seven fifty, okay. So does he? No. So I gotta come over here to find out. I wish I knew, realized. Like I don't know what I thought it was. If I knew it was a tent, I wouldn't have put it way out here. I would have kept it near the house, like really nearby. Like the way she kept talking, like it sounded like I shouldn't be near that hut. But whatever. Whatever. We'll just make this part of our trip. What's up, friend? Mr. Chevy, Fletch told me about you. Thanks for getting here. And you're feeling you'd be doing a lot of business. Take a look at my wares. Feel free to ask me about anything you're interested in. Now I make most of my dinks selling exotic items back in the South City. I guess you could say exotic means any of the items found here. So if you find anything, and I do mean anything, don't want, please drop by and show me. I'll offer you a great price. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Oop. All right, so... How can I see... Oh, wait, this... But how much is it selling for? Oh, you know what? Maybe... I don't know what it's selling for. No. Oh, okay. Sell goods. So if I just hit sell... 290? Okay. I wish... I hate games that, like... It's, you're going in freaking blind here. So, like, if I wanted to see what the individual items were, I'd have to sell these things one by one. Right? Like, it's like, all right, let's see. Oh, 290. Okay. Whereas if I wanted to just do everything bulk, I have no idea what they're worth until I actually sell them one by one, which is super dumb. I absolutely hate that about games. Couldn't be more annoyed with stuff like that. One, two, three, four. Five and one, two, three, four. Just sell these. Whoops. Let's see. Offer you 204. So it's like, I have no idea what any of that was worth, right? All right. Plant wild seeds, sell seven shells. All right. Uh, do a job for someone. Interesting. All right. So it looks like catching bugs will be some of our better ways to do this, right? Uh, what about a cooked fig? 250, okay. Ah, uh, I fucking hate this. It's so annoying. Holy crap. So, and then a regular fig is worth... Wait. Oh, hold on a second. The regular fig... ...was worth 900. Oh, you know what? Maybe it was... Oh, I had all of them selected? Sell one. Yeah. Okay. No thanks. It was... Okay. I was like, why is it 900? That made zero sense. But now it makes sense. I ended up trying to sell the whole stack. So if I sell this, it'll be 250. I don't know what this will be, but let's see. 500 maybe? 450. So that's 190. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so let's see. If I wanted to buy the table saw, 5200 for that. But I can buy a pickaxe for 1200 Smash rocks and ores, that'll be $1,200. i will take it. All right, let's go around. Let's fix our uh, inventory here. Inventory, inventory, inventory. There's the inventory. Let me move you here. I'll keep the bug net there, though. All right, let's smash some rocks. Three, four, 
five, six. Okay. Uh, there we go. I got it. Everything's fine. Just trying to look around to see if there's anything useful around here, like bugs specifically. I can also just pick up shells as I'm walking because they're cheap. I wonder if I could, like, break those bones. Hi. I can. Okay. I can't imagine these are really worth a lot, but... I'll take the bones. I bet the tins were something decent. But I'd rather sell some butterflies and other stupid shit like that first. I'm assuming this will be rocks. Oh, and I got a little bit of tin out of that. Excuse you, can I pick it up? Thank you. Okay. Can't break this, right? Nope. Okay, got some stones. Is that a shark? That looks like a shark. Okay. Not a nice friend over there, it seems. All right, I need to go get 5,200, so I'm going to run around, just grab some basic stuff. Like, I'm going to grab some ores. Maybe I'll sell those. Probably not, honestly. I'm going to try and find bugs instead to sell. Opened up a couple things here. We got shell, yeah. Uh, picking up more shells, I'm assuming. Oh, that's my daily milestone. So shell, yeah, is picking up more shells. Harvesting, picking fruits and logs off the ground. It's actually everything because I was picking up shells when I got that, so... So I did that, but up here I got a bunch of ores, and I can see a butterfly. I'm going to grab that just in case, because I don't know what the spawns are for these things. Like, if they're timed, oh my god, a spider. <gasps> don't touch me! <sighs> got it. Okay, anything else? So I got to look on the ground for creepy crawlies. I can see a butterfly over here. What are these? Oh, that was just my footprints. Boop, grab that. See a little butterfly friend here. Come here. Got it. It's still a little awkward to get the aim down because you don't know exactly where you're aiming. It's not like a perfect switch between um, like where you turn and whatnot. It looks like my tools are degradable, so that's pretty expensive for a degradable tool. So hopefully I can replace them myself. Trash. Sliding handle, old gears. I'm getting tired. If I go in my inventory, minus five health, but a little bit of energy. So I could eat some of this. Okay, that's good enough. Let's head back to our friend. Grab this dragonfly. Grab this thing. Cicada, a Largide. And we got a new milestone. Entomologist, we got five bugs. Okay. Ooh, I can see so I can see a bu two butterfly things over here. This is like a fly. Caught a fly. Literally was a fly. I was kind of being sarcastic, but All right, am I losing stamina for this? I don't think so. No. So, I'm just going to grab these and then we're going to go inside and do a big sell and see if we can uh make some cash here. Yep, give me a sale. Sale. All right, let me sell one of these. What are you worth? 25. Eat shit, my friend. Talk to John. Looks like we're going to be selling like fish and bugs for our main sources of money here, most likely. Okay, if I select it like that, it'll just do them all. Okay. We'll do that. Bam, 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 bam. Keeping these because I don't know what to do with those, so I don't want to get rid of them. Um, I'll keep the bone, get rid of the shells. Okay. 67.55. Thank you. Buy the table saw. Oh, a table saw. You can cut wood into planks. Yep, I'll take it. I also want to buy a fishing rod. I don't know if he'll let me buy it, though. Yeah, I need the fishing license. I wasn't sure if I could buy them and then do it, but that's fine. So that's another bug net. 
All right, I'm going to head home. We'll catch bugs on the way because apparently bugs are the way to make the money, at least in the early game. And then what I'm going to do is go talk to Fletch, see what our next little quest is, and carry on just for a little bit longer before we call it here. So like I keep saying, brothers and sisters, if you want more, make sure you're hitting that like button down below so I can know what you're thinking. And if you're new here, do hit that subscribe button as well so you get back here for that sweet shabby content. What's this? Rupu, I'll take it. I want to sell it to him and see what he wants if he'll buy Rupu from me. It's exotic. Got another thing. Uh, Yep, picking up shells. Creepy drink. Or creepy dink. Bugs are everywhere. Here's a milestone. Selling bugs. Okay. Walking around. Five kilometers. And bug catcher. Eleven of them. All right. Cool. All right. We've got a thousand permit points. Let's talk to Fletch. Oh, you brought a table saw. Well done, Shabby. Don't you think having John here is great? If only we could convince John to move here. Hmm. Well, let's worry about getting materials needed for a permanent building first. Table saw is a great first step. For now, you can have a break. Come back and talk to me when you're ready. Well, I need you to teach me things. Uh, I want to apply for a license. All right. Next, I'm going to get a logging license because obviously I feel like that's going to be necessary for these next steps here. And then I'm going to grab a fishing license because oh, it's fishing, okay? That's all. Let's all relax. And then, should I do, oh boy, farming or hunting? Probably hunting. Allow the holder to craft basic weapons. Let's do hunting. Purchase and use shovels. I can get hunting and farming. Yes. Give me that. Wooden bat. And a basic spear. And a hammer. Okay. And now let's do... Uh, farming. Allows the holder to craft and use animal traps. That's cool. Alright, so now I've learned how to make a scythe. I've learned how to make a grain mill, turn seeds and grains into other things. And now we have a handling license. Allows the holder to buy and raise chooks? <laughs> Expand the tool belt? Oh, there's all sorts of cool shit in here. I cannot wait. I can absolutely not wait. Alright, I'm gonna head back. Oh, don't walk into the fire. I'm going to head back to our boy here. Watch out for those freaking emus. I'm going to buy an axe. I'm going to buy a fishing pole. I'm going to catch bugs on the way so we can sell them. So I can afford all this stuff. I'm going to pick up wood. I see this bug here. Excuse you. I see this bug here. And then that way I can get all of our tools here because I don't know how long it'll be until he comes back. So I want to make sure I don't miss him because of that reasoning. What's this? Is this like a... Oh, bones. Okay. Didn't didn't look like bones, but it's bones. Very well. Is that a crocodilly? <gasps> Ooh, that's a crocodilly. They blend in. Where's the hut? It's over there. I'm assuming they're attacking me. Oh, jeez, I didn't even see him next to me. <laughs> I'm assuming they're attacking me as he's right next to me, you blind dingbat. Time for a good sale. How much does the Rupu sell for? A puck. I, it makes sense. I really hope they put it in so they can tell me the price of things without having to click on it. I'm not missing it, right? I don't see it anywhere. No, I'm definitely not missing it. So, Very well. Sell these. And that. And this. And... Do I have anything else to sell? No. Oops. Sell these. 3250 thank you. I want to see how much he'll buy a bone for. Let's see what those are also worth. A bone. Not that. One. 25. I'll give you one just to sell it to you, but... Alright, so we got Entrepreneur Unlocked. Make 10,000. Um, I think that's everything else. So if I plant some wild seeds, I already sold the shells and then do a job for someone. Alright, so let's buy an axe. Chop down trees and plants. Yep, I'll take it. And then buy this. Yep. And then I'm also going to buy an extra bug then. Just in case mine breaks from what I'm getting so much. And what's this? Wow, 34,000. That's a barbecue. No thanks. Alright, I've got everything I can. I can't get more from here because I don't have excavation unlocked, so I can't buy the shovel. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, I want to see... 
I wanted to chat. What do you want to chat about? You got a job for me? Actually, I have a pink singlet I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? Could you let it go for that? Sure. How about no thanks? Was the price too high? It's weird how his job is to sell me something. But... Okay. Want to chat? Got a job? Nope. You're all good now. Okay, so I lost the opportunity, so maybe next time I'll buy that and see what it's all about. That was a lot of money, though. That was a lot of money, so I'm going to head home. I want to break a few things to see what stuff and thing are. Termite nest. Excellent. That sounds like an amazing thing to put in my frickin' pocket. I'm going to get rid of it, though. Frickin' termite nest. What is wrong with you? All right, grab this wood. So why don't we use my ax here, but first let's organize our bag. So we'll move our ax to number two and I'll put my fishing pole on three. So let's go this. We'll use up our stamina here for the day as well. Okay. Nice little animation, looked cute and I got three logs out of it. Is that a gum log? Ooh, a gum nut? Give me your gum nuts. Gum nut. I wonder if I pass out. Let's find out if I'll pass out or not. I got two gum nuts though. I'm gonna plant those maybe. So if I do, whoops, wrong button. If I do this, where are my gum nuts? Don't try and chew this. <laughs> Don't put these gum nuts in your mouth, gum nuts. All right, gum nut. Where's the house? So there's here. So what if I try like this? Probably need a shovel. Oh no, I might need a tiller. I don't know if there was something I could have bought. But, all right, let's put our table saw down. Put it, uh, this is the main hut, right? So let's just build out here a little bit. That'll do. Then maybe I need to have wood in my inventory here on the hot bar. Okay, insert. Yeah, so, and then I can just add some wood like this and get planks. Little annoying how this works. I wish I could like stack them up. So maybe in the future, there'll be uh, an upgrade for something like this, you know, so we can queue up a bit. I'll do three more just to top it off. But all right, brothers and sisters, I'm going to end this one here. I think we've seen enough for the moment. We'll sleep and start next time on a fresh day. So as usual, brothers and sisters, I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.